This video will show you how to install, connect, and configure your CT5000. The CT5000 is an offline access controller that uses a credential reader, locking device, and separate power supply to provide access to a single opening. The handheld device, or HHD, is used to configure the CT5000. These are the tools you'll need for this installation. Prior to installation, ensure the jumper pin on J8 is set as shown. Next, determine where wiring will come into the CT5000 enclosure and drill a hole for the wires using caution not to contact the electronic components. Measure and drill four holes that correspond to the mounting holes on the CT5000. Dimensions for drilling can be found in the user guide. Mount the CT5000 on the wall using mounting hardware or fasteners appropriate for the wall type. Do not apply power to the CT5000 until all wiring connections are complete. Wire the credential reader to the CT5000 by connecting the credential reader data wires into the Reader 1 terminal block on the CT5000. In this example, a proximity reader is used. Optional wires such as the LED and beeper should also be connected at this time. To ensure proper wiring connections, consult the user guide for your specific credential reader. Please note that power to the credential reader must come from an external power supply the CT5000 will not power a credential reader directly. To determine proper wiring of your locking device to the relay outputs on the CT5000, consult the CT5000 user guide and the wiring guide from your locking device. The wiring, either normally open or normally closed, will be dependent on the locking device you intend to use. In this example, a fail-secure locking device is used. Therefore, the device is connected to the normally open terminal. Next, connect the power supply to the CT5000 power connector. Ensure that the power supply is off prior to making this connection. The power supply must be UL listed and provide at least 500 milliamps at 12 or 24 DC volts. In this example, a Schlage PS902 is used which can accommodate the power needs of the CT5000, the locking device, and the credential reader. The power connection of the CT5000 is polarity protected. After restoring power, insert the power connector into the CT5000. The CT5000 will flash the LEDs during startup. When the tamper LED is slowly flashing green, the startup is complete. Next, carefully remove the Mylar strip. To verify that the CT5000 is in electronic working order, press and hold the Schlage button and press and release the reset button. As you continue to hold the Schlage button, all LEDs will light, all relays will energize, and the credential reader beeper will continuously sound. Release the Schlage button to end the test. To complete the installation, review the CT5000 settings with the HHD and ensure settings are appropriate for your application. Connect the HHD to the CT5000 with the USB cable. In order to make any changes to the CT5000 configuration, you must couple the HHD. Start the utility software and log in as manager. The CT5000 will automatically appear in the device list as new lock. To put the CT5000 in coupling mode, press and hold the Schlage button and press the link button three times. The CT5000 will remain in coupling mode for 20 seconds. On the HHD, tap Device Options, then tap Couple HHD to Device. If you see the default password in use screen, it's recommended that you tap Yes to set the coupling password. Changing the coupling password is very important to ensure your CT5000 only communicates with your handheld devices. Once coupled, 
Review each option to ensure the setting is correct for your application. Pay close attention to the Set Date and Time Settings and Relay Output Settings, which can be found in the Lock Properties menu. The CT5000 can be configured to sound an alarm when the door is forced open or held open. Wiring of the alarm to the CT5000 depends on the alarm type. Consult the user manual for your alarm to determine proper wiring. To detect the alarm condition, a door position switch and a request to exit switch must be connected. After installing the switches, connect the wires to the door position and request to exit switch connections on the CT5000. Then configure the door position switch settings in the CT5000 with the HHD. The door forced open alarm is cleared when a valid credential is presented or if the request to exit switch is activated. The door held open alarm is cleared when the door is closed. The CT5000 can also be configured to provide remote release function, for example, to allow an office administrator to buzz in a visitor. To utilize this function, a push button switch must be connected to the request to exit inputs on the CT5000. No HHD configuration is required for the push button switch to unlock the door. Once the CT5000 is installed and configured, it can be programmed with the HHD using Schlage software on your computer or manually using a credential reader with a keypad. For more information, consult your user guide.